So guys, we've got something for you. We are here with some friends at the range. Genevieve is here jumping around for no reason. Uh, we've got two gel blocks. I want you guys to look at that. We've got two big gel blocks. Genevieve's dad actually made those for us. He did a good job. We're really excited to get back to doing gel stuff. But today our test is gonna be a 500 Magnum. Whether or not it makes a difference to shoot it out of a pistol or shoot it out of a rifle. We've got a two and a half inch barrel and a 16 inch barrel with a can. Are you guys ready? Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay, we're ready. Are you ready? We're ready. All right, we're gonna get set up. We're gonna finish that and then we'll come right back. TacPack is an enthusiast subscription service that is focused on bringing you the stuff you need straight to your door on a monthly basis. Every month is different and you can be met with gun parts, accessories, cleaning gear, or even some bigger and cooler shenanigans. And because you're subscribed to TGC, if you use the code TGCBAG over at TacPack.com, you'll get a free grab bag with your next order. Okay, Genevieve, what? Are you about to shoot there? We've got the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum Performance Center. It's I'm, a... I'm counting on this because I don't want to blow up the table. I'm very nervous about that. You're about to sh the flinch is real? I don't think the flinch is real. It's just more like, I don't know. I've never shot a 500 kneeling before, so we'll see. All right, so you've got one 350 grain Underwood in there. It's a two and a half inch barrel. We are approximately, I don't know, seven yards or so. Unscientific test. We just want to see what's going to happen here and learn a little scientific. bit. scientific. I don't know what you're talking about. Super duper scientific. Alrighty. Okay, I'll give you a countdown. Les, are you good on the high speed? Over here. These guys are good. Okay. In three, two, one. Oh my lord, Genevieve. I didn't blow up the table! Woo! That was a good shot. Everybody good? Everybody's good. Les thinks he's got the high speed. We're gonna look at the jail. Oh my lord. That was crazy. Yeah, guys. that was bonkers. That was wild. All right, so talk, talk at, us through what happened here. All right, so I couldn't really see anything from where I was. I'm interested to see the high speed footage, but this block completely blew off the table. I mean, look at this. I mean, yeah, it, it enters like up it. here and it just split it straight so down. So you're, you're a little bit high, but like still not Well, I not was like... aiming high in case I flinched. I didn't want to blow up the table, but it looks like I was pretty dang accurate. Uh, so this is, uh, I don't know, we'll have to measure these blocks and put it in afterwards for you guys. Look. They're probably about 14 inches long, and then we have about continuation of about eight inches or so. I don't know, there's the bullet. Look at that. Good Lord, that's a, that's a Hornady XTP bullet, 350 grain. That thing folded around on itself just like it's supposed to. I wanna keep it. I am really curious to see how the rifle does if it penetrates more it may penetrate less because the extra velocity may cause that bullet to open up even more that's wild guys i'm that's, excited <laughs> are you ready i'm ready let's reset and we'll keep rolling so we measured it and it was about 20 inches into the gel that's pretty amazing 20 inches do you think this will do more or less i'm gonna say less okay you think it's gonna be less less what do you think Les thinks it's more, Sammy? More. More, okay, we've got more over there. I think it's gonna penetrate about the same. Well, that wasn't an option. Oh, uh, less. Less, okay. I so think it's gonna open up. Here. I think it's gonna open up. We've got, what is this? Tell us this about this. This is a House of Arms, 500 also, obviously. It's got a 16 inch barrel, Bowers verse 50, and Holosun on top. Okay, so. Let's we, see how this does. This is the exact same ammo. Ready to rock. And same distance, because I've still got my markings on the ground here. The rock in my kneecap. It's great. All right, let's see what happens here. You want to count down? Sure. Tell me when you're good. I'm good. In three, two, one. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I broke the table! I don't think you broke it. I think the gel broke it. 
Yeah. All right, well, we'll see. Oh my lord, that thing just exploded. Let's see, let's see if we see a bullet in here. Uh, I don't see anything in there. Oh no, I'm gonna have to buy new wood. That's okay, we'll fix the table. So I was wrong, it went a couple inches farther than the handgun did. Bullet is right here, it came apart a little bit, there's pieces here. Yeah, there's like little, you wanna pick that out of there and see what it looks like? Yeah, I need a knife or something. Or I could just go in with my Yeah, hand. just go in there. Just get in there. It's under my fingernail. Just get in there. Oh, so it's jacketing that came off. So that's some copper jacketing. That looks probably like, ja oh, that's a little fragment of lead. Okay, so the bullet did start to come apart with the extra velocity, but wow. Okay, I mean, so that's- it obliterated this first piece. Like I, I don't even know which way is which anymore. <laughs> well, let's also look at how smooth the face the face of this bullet is, it is a lot more smooth where the other one still had some texture left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll show them up close in a second here, but that one definitely, you can see that it reacted with. I can't wait to see the high speed. Let's see that high speed. So Genevieve, what bullets do we have here? What so is this? This is the one that came out of the rifle where it had some of the stuff come off. This is the one out of the handgun. It's clearly the one out of the, the handgun held up a little bit better, it looks like. They don't even look like the same caliber. <laughs> yeah, they really, they really don't. That extra velocity made that bullet come apart, this one. I mean, look, that's a stark difference. This one actually has gel jammed up in it. You can also see on the face of it, there's more like, texture and all that like this one just smoothed right out because it was going so much faster now these are rated on the box at 1912 1912 feet per second i don't know the barrel length on that but i would assume this is probably about 1700 feet per second this one's probably going closer to i don't know 2500 out of that six inch barrel or 16 inch barrel it's got some extra velocity plus the can might give a little bit of freeboard boost that is really, really fascinating. What do you think, Genevieve? What do you, what do you think about all this? I mean, I had fun. I uh, honestly am not super surprised that the one out of the rifle went farther. I just said less because every time I take a guess, I'm always wrong. <laughs> so really hedged my bets and lost, but that's okay. All right, that's- I mean, it was fun. The gel got obliterated. That was cool to see. That's always amazing. <laughs> yeah. And I think ballistic gel is such a cool test medium. Yeah. Les, what do you think? What did you learn today? Is this the first time you've seen gel? Yeah. First time. Anything around gel, it's cool to watch, especially in slow-mo or high speed. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Same, same. <laughs> Sammy? Wicked. That Just was wicked. To watch. I thought it was really cool. All right, guys, so we are shooting the 500 Performance Center again with the high-speed camera. I want to see how badly I handle this recoil, and I've always wanted to know what my arms look like with no bones in them. So. <laughs> <laughs> this will be really cool. Les, are you ready with the high-speed? Les is good. Woo! Genevieve, are you good? Do your arms hurt yet? Three, two, one. Good Lord, that Woo! fire ring is bonkers. <laughs> How's your hand? I just love this so much, I really do. All right. Slow-mo, <laughs> yes. Les, how do you feel about it? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> What are you shooting? I'm shooting the uh, House of Arms 500 now and just the high speed. So All right, let's see what that looks like. Where did I put the round? There it is. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, count down. In three, two, one. Ooh. Finger off the trigger. And then open the, there you go, perfect. First time ever shooting a 500 rifle, what do you think? Different than holding a small handgun, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's, it's a lot different. It barely moved you, you did good. Yeah, you did really good. All right. Just for context for the internet, Sammy here has minimal shooting experience, a little bit here with us at the range, a little bit, but that's really cool, she did good. She did. All right, here goes Les with the House of Arms rifle. It happens to be Les's birthday. He's gonna be 16 today. 
He just got his driver's license. <laughs> We're really proud of him. Also, uh, are you ready to uh, shoot the hog slayer? Oh uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. In three, two, send it. What do you think of that? That kicked off harder than I was expecting. <laughs> and that's with the can on. That weighs a lot. Hell yeah. Happy birthday for that, right? Thanks, bro. I want to point out to the internet, just like Genevieve just said, we only have one round in this gun. A lot of people take one of these and put like two or three in it for a first time shooter. And then this gun in particular, the 500 can do what's called a double tap. So the gun recoils and as it's recoiling, they pull the trigger again because it, their hand is like bouncing around in the trigger. Yeah. It's super dangerous. Really dangerous, super dangerous. So we're smart and we only put one in the gun. <laughs> In three, two, one. Woo! That is crazy. <laughs> All right. Dude. All right, I gotta get your reaction. I'm sorry I just cursed, I was so excited. <laughs> Besties. I would like to shoot that again. <laughs> oh wow, all right. Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 really interesting. Uh, I've seen a lot of shooters come to the range and like just not understand right away how to handle it. This is literally like uh, probably that, the fourth or fifth gun that she's ever shot with us. That I mean, I can feel really what you're talking very about. Good. Thanks. Like I can feel a little bit in my palms here what you're talking about as far as recoil, but like consecutively, I could see where that would really mess up her hand. Like, you liked it? Yeah, I do. Come we'll on. see how you feel after the next round. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm up for a challenge. All right, Leslie has never shot a revolver, let alone a 500. He owns a bunch of cool stuff, just never did this. Les, are you ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, yes, all the yes, every day of the week, yes. That didn't even move you. Yeah, you handled that really well. Really this, you like I the, need this the big in my life. <laughs> like I need all this in my life. Welcome to the club. Yes. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> wow, these are my friends. So Leslie handled that first one like a freaking champ. Are you are you ready? No, I'm pumped. How many are in there? Is this just, just one, one one more? Yeah, just one. Happy birthday to Les. Go ahead. I had to get the flinch out to do it perfect. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. God, I love this thing. <laughs> I really love this. That was substantial. I want one. Less than I, gonna I mean, I'm standing to the side of you and I can just feel the concussion. Don't buy one, you don't have to I want steal one. ours. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a minute, you're talking about stealing it, she's talking about stealing it. I don't know, I mean, you can buy them. <laughs> so, we learned a lot. Today, we, we learned a lot. Uh, first of all, a pistol versus a rifle with a 500 Magnum. What did you think, Genevieve? Which, which would you prefer to shoot? For long periods of time, the rifle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love that performance center Smith & Wesson, but we had so many technical difficulties. I ended up shooting like over 10 rounds and my wrist was like, please. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Les, first time shooting a revolver and you shot a 500 for the first time? Yes. It was amazing. Thank All you right. again. Sammy? I don't have words. I like everything I shot. <laughs> All right. Do you have a preference, you two, between the pistol and the rifle? Which one did you prefer? Pistol. Uh, pistol, yeah. Pistol, both of them. Loving wow. that. Wow. Okay, so first timers out on the range with a 500, plus we learned some stuff with ballistic gel, and we shot a buttload, a buttload, an official buttload of high-speed video. Genevieve, tell them what to do. What do they do? Go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to see more stuff like this, let us know in the comments below. And I loved hanging out with you guys. Yeah, it was great. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> I told him to put me in for like a second of me like... No, don't put that in. <laughs>